Hi everyone, it's Therese. I am back with another video and today I'm here to share a project. I made a um, I made a tag for a friend. Um, I've been on a kick with tags and ATCs and um, I made some flowers and I thought I was going to put the uh, some flowers, those flowers that I made, onto this project but it just didn't feel right to me or it didn't look right. Um, so this is what I made. Okay, let me just explain. Um, so a bunch of the ladies that I craft with on a daily basis, <laughs> um, you know, I've gotten to know them, each and every one of them. And um, there's six of us, I want to say, seven, seven of us, I guess. Um, and you know, you when you, you when you're talking on a daily basis, you start, you know, you get to know everybody, and you feel like you really know them. And I really feel really close to this group. So anyway, one of our uh, crafty <laughs> sisters um, just lost a dear, dear, dear pet, um, and. We are doing um, this kind of like a happy meal through the year type of thing um, with a, with this group that I'm in, and um, I have her this month, and um, I wanted to make her something, and I I was sitting here one day and we were chatting actually. She showed me something, and I was like, oh, ching. <laughs> The idea went off in my head, um, and and this is what I came up with. So it's a huge tag. I can't even barely fit it in the <laughs> camera. This is six by twelve, and this chipboard tag came from Rosie Posey's kit, one of her kits, and. Um, I'm going to use her goodies and her papers for something else. So I wanted to make um, our friend, um, it's like a memorial, I guess. Um, this is one of her, she has two dogs and um, it was very unexpected, you know, and you know, when you have a sick pet, you know what is going to happen, you know? In um, this case, it was just totally out of the blue. There was no indication. Um, well, I mean, there was some health problems, but it wasn't anything this dramatic, you know? So I made this tag for her. Um, to hang or to display so you know I'm sure she she has pictures of her you know around I just wanted to create something for her so I glued some vintage papers onto the tag um, so it's a front and then I also did some on the back I um, altered this Polaroid. Um, it's a chipboard Polaroid and it was it's really sand um, really shiny. So I had to sand it down and paint it and then sand it again and then paint it <laughs> until I got the look I wanted. You know, I was trying to make it old and distressed and all that. So what I did in the background, I used um, this stencil from Folk Art and uh, it's like a crackle stencil with some modeling paste. And I just added it here and there. You can't, I think you can see some of it here. Let me bring it down a little bit so you can see. So there's some here some up here. I mean, it's just very faint. It's not anything um, too much. 
Um, on the Polaroid, I painted it with a brown, um, distressed it with walnut stain and vintage photo. So it, it really has that look of distressed. Added a metal tag with a brad. I had some stickers that I um, backed with black um, cardstock that kind of looks like um, typewriter keys. Um, I added a Dollar Tree bling. This is Tim Holtz um, lettering. Um, I think it's from his, I have it right here, Ide Ide Ideology label letters. And this is um, a burlap, I think it's a burlap or it's just a lacy heart. And I added a metal flower that I purchased from Monica, who's scrapping with my boys here on YouTube. Um, I layered the flower, the centerpiece, and then I added a pearl center. This is a cutout. I had cut out several of these. Um, I think these are um, craft paper. And the doily is really small. I'm not sure if it's a Sizzix die. There it is. But it, Sizzix or Spellbinders, I'm not sure. But anyway, I cut it in half and I added it to the frame. Um, in the background, I have some snippet um, of laces that I laid down first. I should have said that in the beginning. <laughs> um, on the bottom here, I added a prima flower that I layered three flowers and I added a big pearl center. Here's some tickets from my stash that I distressed. Paper flowers that I distressed as well. Here is lace from my stash. I um, distressed this wood veneer that says remember. I just love how that looked right there. Then I stamped these little um, heart-shaped uh, doggy paws here. This one, I think it was because of the um, stenciling. And then some up here, and here, and up there. And then as we go up here, I added another uh, doily with another flower wood veneer that I got from Tuesday morning. And let me share you that pack. I have it here. It was in this pack from Tuesday morning and here's some, you know, um, doilies and um, here's some teacups and a teapot. And this one says forever friends, these little tiny veneers and a cupcake, so. I added that and I distressed it right there. I kind of wanted to, it's now balanced. <laughs> you know how when you look at something and you feel like I need something over here and then I needed something down here to balance it out. Anyway, I, that's just how my brain works, I guess. Um, and then I um, added some seam binding from my stash and this gingham, um, ribbon. It's black and white. I thought it went well. Um, some crochet trim from my stash. And then I added a um, grommet pin from Tim Holtz. And I'm not sure if this bling here is from Tim Holtz too. I'm not sure. It might or might not be. <laughs> I can't. I don't know anymore. <laughs> But this is my tag for my friend, and I hope she likes it. Look at Zoe. She's so cute. Um, because I know how hard it, it gets when you lose a pet. I've, I don't think I've ever... I've, I've had pa pets <laughs> when I was younger, but I don't remember them passing away, or I've moved away before they passed away. It's just I've never experienced it personally and it's just I just can't imagine you know I really can't um so yeah so I want to thank everybody for stopping by today watching my videos thank you everybody for commenting I'm I'm very very 
happy that, you know, some people have been commenting on my videos and um, you just never know yet again if I'm going to pick this video or next video for a random giveaway. So please, everybody, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. I will be happy to answer you. Um, and if I don't answer you, I always love each and every comment that comes through my channel. So um, I want to thank everybody. If you're new, please subscribe. <laughs> um, I usually subscribe back. So if you do, that'd be great. Uh, I want to thank everyone and I will see you soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.